Hi there, it's Camille. Welcome back to the channel. Today's vlog is a bit long because the first video on this vlog was actually filmed three months ago. Anyway, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I started a small candle business. So you're gonna see me packing some orders. And also, I went on some coffee dates with my boyfriend. And since I'm in surgery block now, I needed some supplies for my suturing and casting. So I will be unboxing those. And for the first time, I'm going to try to suture. So if you're interested in seeing that, then just keep on watching. So my class starts at 10 a.m. for clean path. And I have to pack three candles. I got an order for three candles. She ordered the Calm, the Relief, and the Dream. So the Calm candle has amethyst crystals, while Relief has citrine, and Dream has clear quartz. So after cutting it, it looks like this. I used recycled bubble wrap. So now I got my honeycomb wrapper. I feel like some people think that paper fillers are unnecessary when it comes to packaging but if you're shipping to somewhere really far especially if what you're shipping is fragile or like you know made out of glass there's a really high chance that it's going to break Next is I have to add a layer of bubble wrap to the outside so that the courier is going to accept it. The last thing I have to do is print the waybill. Beside me is my 64 ounce hydrate bottle. I got this because I want to drink more water. Also so I can count um, how many liters I drink per day. So this is really helpful so at least you know um, I don't have to keep going down to get water because it's just here and I really like the lilac color but I'm planning on changing this into like a sippy straw thingy but it's still out of stock. It also has other colors like I think there's a red and a yellow and a black. The black one I got for yard so yeah we're matchy matchy. So can you see my slide? I almost forgot how stressful it is to do online classes whenever this happens. Been like this for like five minutes already. Okay, so that's done and basically she told us the schedule of our quizzes and our lectures and exams so I just wrote it down. Cuspedia happens every Tuesday so... And we are all grateful that we have you on board as our newest shoppy ambassador. It's currently 7.42pm Wednesday and we have rehabilitation medicine lecture. Here is focus, calm, captivate, and relief. And then 
the other order is Dream and a glass jar of Calm. So that's what I'll be doing now. Hi there, it's Camille. I missed you guys so much. I missed vlogging, honestly. I really wanted to vlog, but I don't know. I just couldn't get myself to vlog. But today, I felt like vlog. I am in surgery block already. I'm done with med block. So in surgery block, we have minor surgery wherein we learn how to suture and do casting. So I had to buy supplies and it's here. And today we're gonna unbox it together. I'm gonna put this one aside first. So let's start with this and what's inside. So first is the basin and I got this basin in a set for um, casting supplies. Like it was so convenient because everything was already like included. Like I didn't have to pick one by one to order everything. It was a set already, like a casting set. So yeah, it came with this basin. And then I also got two surgical gloves. I'm not gonna use this whenever I practice. It's just for when I actually do the return demo video. Here is the plaster of Paris bandage and this is what you use for when you do casting. I also got this cotton ball container and I didn't even choose the color. It just like came in pink. Really happy that they gave me the color pink. And, and then I got this from my dad because apparently they don't sell this unless um, in the hospital or like mga operating rooms. So this one wasn't really required but like if we had now then it's okay. I asked my dad if he had because he's an orthopedic surgeon and he does casting. So actually he told me that they don't really use this anymore but sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Yeah, that's it for that. And now we're gonna open this up. I'm so excited. <laughs> And there's a lot of stuff inside. The first is elastic bandage. And I think this is another elastic bandage. And then this is a sling. Uh, why is it large though? But yeah, this is a sling for casting. So that you don't move your arm. And how do you put this on? So I guess... This goes here. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. Okay, like that. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. Oh. It's large because so it's so big, but probably put this here. I hope I'm doing this right. Oh. Oh. Alright. Okay, so there. <laughs> Done with this. And then, next, let's see. I have no idea what this is. Next is this thing. Oh wait, it's 
it's already stocking it. Oh my god, I had no idea that they it came with stocking net already. I'm amazed. <laughs> and then so this one is a wadding sheet. I think you know it. And another one. Plaster of Paris again. I actually this is the one that really came with the set. I just ordered an extra one in case that like I need to practice and I run out. And then this one. Ah! This yellow thing is a sponge. And if I'm correct, you're supposed to make your own um, incisions or like uh, you're supposed to make your own like cuts and then pretend that it's a wound and then you, you suture it. So it serves as a suture pad but then you have to make your own cuts. And next we have three of suit the suit um, are they all silk? Yes, okay. So we have three silk braided sutures and then these um, look like scissors, the needle holder, scissors I think for when you have to cut the plaster of Paris and then forceps this one fell, this one looks like scissors as well and then another needle holder and this one is also a needle holder. <clears throat> oh wait, and then other needle, other and then scissors, and then another needle holder. So um, they come in like different sizes. And for the last item in here is the suture. And for the last item, sorry, I got a text. <laughs> And for the last item is the suture pad. Wait lang, I'll just reply. Okay, so where were we? We were here in the suture pad. It feels nice. It feels like really durable. So it's supposed to mimic the skin. So today I will also try and do my first stitch. I will transfer there. So here are just clips of me practicing my suturing skills. I had no idea what to do, but I was just following the video that they sent us. And yeah, it got easier on the third try. It's pretty fun to do. So I did it three times and this is how it looks like. I'm thinking of doing a Q&A video. So if you have any questions, just comment down below or DM me on Instagram. So yeah, I hope that you have a great day. Take care of yourself. Remember to rest if you have to. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!